Oh, you know, I gotta talk to Pika about these things. These are really unscripted. <laughs> Good morning. It's 5.13 a.m. on Wednesday, the hump day. December the 6th, 2023. And I am full of gratitude. Oh, hold on. Oh, yes. Hold on. There we go. Whew. So I don't overheat on the bus. See, that's, that's some wisdom that I'm grateful for. I start off my morning with a gratitude list. Uh, I start this list off with what I call the Foundation Eight. Um, I am grateful for my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, my union job, a good night's sleep, and a solid, decent breakfast. And from there I elaborate. This gratitude list has been the most helpful thing in my entire life when it comes to struggling with my emotional state, with my clouded mind, with my attention span, um, and with my sadness. I suffer from the chronic mopies, the chronic lonelies, and the chronic angries, and I have all my life. I still do in a way, um, but it's the most manageable it's ever been, and it's taken a lifetime to get here, a, a, li a lifetime of trying and failing, and, tr and, and, and maybe sometimes partially succeeding. But so far, so good. This gratitude list uh, idea, is, it's over three years. It'll be going on four years pretty soon. <clears throat> and um, I just want to pay it forward to anyone that's really in need of hearing something like this. I, um, I went to bed early. Yeah, like 6.30. I See, my bedtime is 8 p.m. I get up at 4 a.m. That's eight hours of sleep. I asked for my doctor's help, and I got it. I stopped drinking at night. I stopped drinking pretty much altogether, but that's a different story. So there's no interaction, you know. Um, I don't want to end up like poor Heath Ledger. Hmm, poor Heath Ledger. Yet, um... I'm able to get to sleep and to stay asleep for for hours. Like I pretty much slept straight through all night. I had I was having dreams about my old restaurant and that the 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 basement level prep area also shared a subway station. Dreams, man, huh? <laughs> At least they were good dreams, you know. Or actually, what was it? Let's see, I'm. A neutral dream it was a little stressy because it was work and it was working like brunch at my old restaurant I know huh um, I usually say like hey I can make soup in my sleep sometimes I do I'm a professional chef that's what I do for a living it's very active I need to be on my feet for about eight hours without a break and there's a lot of moving around. There's a lot of walking. There's a lot of picking up heavy things between 25 and 50 pounds. If you need to pick up something very heavy, ask a teammate to help you. If you need to tote that a, 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 a good distance, we have wheeled carts for that. I also work with a lot of, you know, people that were older than me when I first started there 15 years ago and they're still all pretty much working there. And now I'm older and I, you know, Having wheeled carts is just, that's a blessing. I am truly blessed and grateful. The gratitude list has the ability to, to let me count my blessings. And by doing that, it gives me perspective and the ability to say, to say hey, things are not as bad as my self-talk is trying to tell me they are. Yeah. The ability to rein in and reformat your self-talk into something a bit more positive and even neutral is the, one of the greatest boons, uh, the, one of the greatest perks, the, one of the greatest benefits of this experience with the gratitude list. I'm no longer fighting it with ex-girlfriends, family members, uh, friends, 
uh, you know, people, you know, you know, random strangers that may or may not have insulted you, uh, people on the internet. I've gotten to be actually a bit kinder, gentler. You know, I'm a, like a pretty high test kind of person. You know, up and at them, full speed ahead, uh, my way, the highway. <clears throat> well, being a chef and being in the hospitality industry for over 30 years, I know this. You need to run your kitchen or your kitchen will run you. You need to run your, your service or service will run you. And with the ability of the gratitude list, I can now say you need to run your anger or your anger will run you. You need to run your mind or your mind will run you. It can, it, it can be that simple if you choose it to be. be like, you just got to take point and run it. You know, you are the captain. You are in charge. You are the chef. Indeed. Oh, boy. It's a beautiful morning. It's cold. It's 28 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little cloudy. You can't see the stars. You can't see Venus. I saw a moon for about two seconds. It might snow a little later. I can see the skyline of my city, of Boston, as I roll into my work area. I'm about to, t to, uh, to have a mile and a quarter walk. It takes about 24 minutes. But that's like the walk from the station to work. You know, it's first thing in the morning. You know, the, it's, it's, it's the quickest way to get to my work. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and um, I don't know. What do you think? What are you blessed and grateful for? Do you feel that way? Are you struggling with your anger, with your anxiety? You know, do you struggle with purpose? We all do. You're not alone. The struggle is real. But there's a way out. This is a ladder out of that pit. Is this gratitude list. I, I, you know, um, I just want to pay this forward. I think it's good for anyone to hear. And especially people that need it. I look at my old gratitude list and I can count. Wow, you had 12 things to be grateful for this morning. You had 15 yesterday. You had 11 the day before that. You know, counting your blessings, it can, it, it stops the inertia of your bad day. It can. And I'm grateful that it's Wednesday. So you need to hump this day or this day will hump you with or without your consent. <laughs> ah, it's getting close to my stop. So let's bundle back up. Mm-hmm. That layer. I'm grateful and blessed for this little fleece muzzler my mom gave me <laughs> That's what it looks like in the bus. That's the ceiling of the bus. Oops, let's hit the button. Stop requesting. Let's get to work. And thank you for cheering this bus ride with me again. No wheels in the bus go round and round. And we've <laughs> taken this journey together. Thank you so very much. And you have a wonderful day. Try to stay positive. It's, it's really hard sometimes. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Drive safe. Be polite to people if you can. I mean, I was raised to use my please and thank you. And um, some people think I'm insincere and it's fake. Well, that's where they're welcome to their thoughts. Their thoughts have nothing to do with me. One of the most liberating things uh, was my guru Deepak Chopra ta taught me that other people's thoughts are none of your business and their thoughts of you even more so. Spiritual. 
weirdness, but guidance. Isn't that great? I just, that's so, it's so freeing. That's what they call moksha, spiritual freedom. Well, you have a wonderful day. The sun is going to rise in an hour. <laughs> and um, be there for it. Embrace your day. Go to work. Take care of your business. And, and love yourself. If you love yourself, it's going to follow that you love everyone else. If you're patient with yourself, same thing. Respect yourself, same thing. If you're gentle with yourself, same thing. It's so weird. I've been, you know, I let my anger and my, and my emotions rule my life, most of my life. And letting go of that has, has been, it's like my posture is better in a spiritual, mental, and physical way. Oh, I can't. God bless. Namaste. Good luck. You have a wonderful day. Keep tuning in. We make content here. We talk about comic books, cooking, spirituality, and the occasional bunny when if we see them in the morning. It's cute. <laughs> All right. You have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.